Hi, and welcome back to Scripting Made Easy with Dark Angel. So, in Lesson 1, I gave you the tools that you needed and showed you where everything needs to be placed. And in Part 2 here, I'm going to teach you how to essentially record your script. And it's very easy. So, what I need you to do is to start by opening up the um, C drive and in there you will find your script tags folder. Let's click on that and I'm going to go down and open up my test script folder just as you should. Now in there you will find the blank that I had provided you which is just a simple mask uh, blank. There's no artist information or, or anything like that on there. Um, and make sure that your PSP is open and then I want you to just drag and drop that over into your PSP. And I'm going to make a little adjustment here so that way you can see everything in my PSP and what essentially it is that I need to do. Okay, so now that you can see that, what we're going to do is just start by finding the, the font that we want to use, colors we want to use, uh, choose your effects, pretty much lay everything out before you actually start your recording. So with me, I already have my text tool selected. And as you can see, I already have my font selected. And over here, I have my color palette. I'm doing a background color of black, my fill color of black. And then I don't use any stroke. So um, that's up here, zero it out, okay? Or I can just make that so it's invisible. Now, what you're gonna figure out is where you want your placement. I'm going to do mine pretty much in the center, so that looks good for me. I'm going to click Apply Changes. Now, mind you, I'm using the latest version of PaintShop Pro, which is X3. So sometimes you don't have to click Apply Changes. It just depends on the version of PSP that you're using. Now that I've done that, as you can see, it put it in as a vector layer, but we're going to make that into a Rasta layer. So if you can right-click and then convert to Rasta layer, and then what I'm going to do is put my effects on here. Now I can click effects, go down to my plugins, and let's say I'm going to use some eye candy, put a little glass effect on it, looks good to me. And then I'm going to go back into my effects, plugins, eye candy again, down to my gradient glow, looks great. So that looks good to me. I'm going to save that as my idea of what I want to do. So as long as that looks good to you, then what I'll do is I will start my script. So I'm just going to delete that, which will bring me back to my initial layer. Now to start your script, what you want to do is first and foremost, this box right here, which is your toggle execution mode, make sure that that is not checked. See right there, it's depressed. So we want to make sure that that's not. Now what we're going to do to record it is come over here to your start script recording, the big red circle. Click that, it goes grayed out, and now that's when your script is actually recording. So I'm going to go about center, I'm going to click that, it shows me what I want there, save, apply, then I'm going to right click, convert to Rasta layer, I'm going to go up and put my effects in, down to my glass, Click OK, Effects, Eye Candy again, My Grade and Glow, looks wonderful. And that's it. That's exactly how I did it in my test run. So it looks good to me. And now what I'm going to do is over here, my saved script recording, I'm going to click that. And it's going to pop up. And it automatically came into mine because that's where I save it. But make sure that you have your save in as your scripts trusted. Remember that was in your your My Documents, PSP Files, and Scripts Trusted. Okay. So what I'm going to do, I already have it there, but I'm going to do it again. Test script. Make sure you leave that squiggle in the front like we did before. So that way it brings it up at the top of, of your scripts. So I'm going to click Save, and obviously, yes, I want to replace that so it all looks good to me. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete this layer right here that has the scripting made easy on it. And that is as simple as you can get 
when it comes to recording your script. So now that your script is recorded, what we're going to do in the next video is we're going to go in and we're going to adjust your actual script in the text document that the script is written in and we'll go from there. So thank you again for joining me and I will see you in the next video and as always if you have any questions feel free to drop me an email at darkangeldz71 at gmail.com. Thanks for joining me again and we'll see you in part three. Take care. Happy scripting.